I only started this one with the Parkinson's, yeah. I, did, I didn't do tapestry before. No. The PKG is a wrist-worn device, looks like a watch, it gives some medication reminders to the patient, but it is also a device that records movement and so it gives me a quantified idea at helping us as, as the doctor and the patient to understand their symptoms and the way they're responding to the medication. Right, so today's appointment with Dr Pavia is 11 o'clock. Oh bloody hell, is it? <laughs> I first met Fred a few years ago uh, when he became a new patient to me. So the PKG at that time helped me to understand what his typical day was like and helped me to make some medication changes to improve his symptoms. All those notes that you, you've been taking... And I've left it to the last minute again, haven't I? You have, but yeah. never mind, I, I managed to do it. Yes, you've got sort of one, yeah. two, sort of four oh, yeah. or five different yeah. complete changes, changes during a day, and yeah. unless you write them down, you're never yeah. going to remember. Yeah. What the patient says is incredibly valuable and nuanced and individualised, but I sometimes wonder how accurate that information is and whether they're actually just telling me about some of the symptoms they've had more recently in the preceding days or weeks. To be honest, sometimes I, I almost feel like I haven't got Parkinson's at all. And um, it, it, it sort of goes in waves, you know. But then it is important to keep a track of it because you, yeah, yeah, you sure, can't yeah, remember yeah, yeah, yeah. when and it's yeah. completely unreliable. Well, you really need the, the sort of consultant to follow you around it sort of It'll be with all you. day long, don't you? <laughs> Hopefully the PKG would, would see that solve that problem, really. So I get the impression that there's uh, some more uh, fluctuation and so some information today about that. We could at least begin the process of talking to them about other therapies. How are you feeling today, Fred? Not bad, actually. Yeah, you always feel better going to see the doctor, don't you? I forgot to bring my tablets with me. You've got the tablets, haven't you? I've got them. Good. How are you? What's changed in the last sort of three I'm just getting months? stiffer, really. Stiffer in the mornings. Still no set pattern. This is the PKG we did last year, and that was after we adjusted your therapy. So I think yeah. because of the, the fact that <clears throat> there is a degree of unpredictability about which parts of the day are good or bad, yeah. and I'd like to try and understand a bit more about whether it is obviously related to the timings of your drug dosing, yeah, sure. whether okay. we might be able yeah, to yeah. adjust yeah. that yeah. and try and improve your daytime off period. Right. I'd quite like to get another yeah. PKG. So I'll program that for you now. Okay. Um, this gives us an averaging over about yeah, a week, yeah, yeah. so we get a better understanding yeah. of whether there's yeah. any obvious pattern. Sure. Let's turn it on. So now that's buzzing, and that pill icon tells you it's time to take a pill. Right. So do you want to practice acknowledging? So imagine you've taken your tablet now. There you go. When I've seen the PKG report, I'll, I'll give you a call. Okay. And we can discuss any medication changes. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nice Thank to you. see you today. Nice. Do you think you're going to be able to manage it? Right? Oh yeah, no problem at all. Really. It's really oh, yeah. come at a very convenient time because my other watch is a bit broken, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, give me that, a week to sort that one out, won't it? When, it? when it's wrong, you just swipe it across. Yeah. Maybe I think you were a bit heavy-handed with it, but I'm sure you were. Well, I'm heavy-handed, and I full stop. <laughs> so it will be interesting to know exactly what's happening. What's it called? GK? PKG. PKG. Yeah, and you had to forget. Yeah. I'm not very good at remembering numbers and letters.